Hey, this is Tiffany from Us The Remingtons, and today we're gonna to talk about manual jacks. Trailer jacks provide stability for your travel trailer when you're parked and disconnected from your tow vehicle. They also help you level your trailer so that your refrigerator and other important appliances function properly when you're camping. If your travel trailer has manual jacks, you'll need to hand crank them or use a power drill with the right bit. Today, we're gonna to show you how to use a manual jack on the travel trailer. Step one, park as level as possible. Manual scissor jacks are primarily meant for stabilizing your trailer. They allow you to make minor level adjustments but shouldn't be used to level your trailer on very uneven surfaces. Park on a spot that is as level as possible, front and back and side to side, to keep from putting too much weight on the jacks. You can, and honestly should, also be using leveling blocks under the trailer tires to adjust the level of your trailer. Step two, chalk trailer tires. Trailer tires should be chalked front and back before detaching from your tow vehicle and extending jacks. This will keep the trailer from shifting once you disconnect from your vehicle, as well as when you're leveling and stabilizing. Step three, detach trailer from the tow vehicle. Make sure to chalk the tongue wheel, if you have one, to prevent it from rolling as well. Leave safety chains attached until hitch receiver is disconnected from the hitch ball. Detach seven pin electrical connector. Detach hitch receiver and pull the vehicle away. Step four, prepare the surface underneath the jacks. If you place the jacks directly on the ground, they're more likely to sink, slide, or shift. Leveling blocks can also be used for the same purpose. They also reduce how your jacks need to be extended. If exceeding a height of three leveling blocks, use a pyramid stacking structure for better strength and stability. Step five, crank jacks down. Start at the front of your trailer if you have all four jacks. Grab your crank handle, insert open end over the screw thread on the outside of the jack. Some people use a power drill and a specific scissor jack socket drill adapter to speed up this process. Crank clockwise to the right to extend. Extend just until the jack makes contact with the pads or the leveling blocks. Repeat this process to all four jacks. Step six, check level and adjust jacks. Use manual or electronic level to check level on the countertop inside of your trailer. From there, extend or retract the certain jacks to make minor adjustments as needed. You may also need to adjust the height of the tongue of the wheel or stand at the front of your trailer. How to retract manual jacks. When you're packing up to head home, you'll need to reverse this process to put your manual jacks up before you pull away. Here's a quick breakdown of the process in reverse. Attach crank handle to screw thread and turn counterclockwise to your left to retract the jacks. Repeat this process to all four jacks until they're retracted completely. Attach the trailer to the tow vehicle before removing the chocks. Remove and store any leveling blocks, jack pads, crank handle, and tire chalk. Double check that the jacks are completely retracted before towing. I hope these tips and tricks help you while using your manual jacks. I hope you're also enjoying your time out on your Good Sam rental. Oh,